Have you ever seen a National Geographic documentary where you're watching the lionesses and there's some buffalo and the buffalo aren't especially attractive. The lionesses look great, right? They're great form, you know, very good looking animals. But the buffalo is very average, there's lots of them, they're a dime a dozen. Every now and then, every now and then the lioness sees a rump that she really wants. Right. Well, Campbell and Meg, what a day. Um, it's really special to see so many of your friends and family here, some who've travelled quite a distance. Um, so welcome everyone. It's been so lovely getting to know you, Campbell, and seeing how happy you make Meg. You guys have had a massive few years, from your trips to Raro, Europe, and your Hawaii trip, to getting your wee puppy, Obi, who I might add is the most well-trained dog I know, to supporting each other through your back surgeries, um, to buying a house, your engagement, and finally this great day today. For Campbell and Megan, today is the formal recognition of the plans and promises that they have made together over the last four years. During this time, they have shared adventures, successes, failures, the best times, and some hard ones too. They choose to continue this journey together from this day forwards, hand in hand, as husband and wife. Campbell and Megan first met in December 2013, when they were both guests at the wedding of mutual friends, Alistair, who's a groomsman today, and his wife Annie. Of Megan and Campbell's first meeting, Campbell has said that he spotted Megan in the church during the ceremony but Megan didn't spot Campbell until later at the reception. Um, during the ceremony, uh, you'll notice that there was a story told about the first time that they met. Um, I was there, and I remember it slightly differently. We're at Alistair's wedding, and the dance floor is cranking, and all the boys are sitting around the table. Suddenly, out of nowhere, this bombshell, I've never seen her before, she makes a beeline straight for Campbell, grabs his hand, and drags him to the dance floor. <laughs> I love the shape of your mouth I love the taste of your lips I love the way you pull me into you And I melt when you're holding my hips I love the scar on your chest So things are going pretty well, which is also rare. <laughs> Until some hip and or hop music comes on the uh, speakers. Um, and he basically got torpedoed by Beyonce. It was the, the ring on it finger song. He's standing there, he's doing his Mr. Bean dance. It's, it's, it just doesn't work. So Campbell's a man that knows his limitations. So he slinks back to the table and he rejoins us and we give him high fives, we're like, good effort, you know, nice try. May, maybe next time. I've been asked to say nice words today but I'll tell the truth instead about the blossoming relationship of our couple, Cam and Meg. Their paths first crossed some years ago, in fact, for truth to tell. So this whole journey started at the wedding of Annie and Al. We watched their friendship flourish and knew it was on track when Campbell started showing up with a very painful back. <laughs> So, Megan, your mother and I are really proud of the beautiful woman you've become today. She's, uh, you know, a little girl, a little princess, and she'll always be those things to us, even though she's got well, married now. You know what uh, impressed me most about Campbell? He actually asked me for Megan's hand in marriage. He phoned me up one night. Now, I can, I can officially let you know today, you can have the rest of it. Meg, if you were putting together a team to do like an Ocean's Eleven style heist, Alan's third daughter probably shouldn't be your first choice. <laughs> He's completely incapable of evading minimum wage security guards, leaves Dora the Explorer style clues as to the nature of his accomplices. He's one game of tennis away from being allowed to legally park right next to the supermarket doors, dislikes late nights and struggles to keep confidential emails confidential. <laughs>
But if you're looking for the sort of soul that offers his friends a place to live when they're falling on hard times, the sort of soul that will love you unconditionally every single day, that will take care of you and treat you with the respect and admiration that a girl of your calibre deserves, you've made the perfect choice. Campbell, you have so many times been my pillar, offering me support when I've needed it most. I know that I have found the man who will always be there for me. I promise to continue to build a loving home with you in which to one day raise our children. I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses as though they were my own. These things I promise you today and all the days of our life together. Megan, today I marry you, my best friend and the person I love most in this world. Today we start on a journey together, offering a commitment to one another that will last a lifetime. I promise to take you as you are and always encourage you to realise your dreams. I promise to grow with you, laugh with you, and love you unconditionally. These things I promise you today and all the days of our life together. Megan and Campbell, it is my absolute pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Campbell, you make this the ride. Don't cry, don't, that's, that's all we're coming. Um, and that was without a doubt the luckiest day of that buffalo's life.